Uh, there is an open stake on the Wednesday card. That's the Pleasant Colony. It's a $70,000 listed stake for three-year-olds going a mile and an eighth. Now, we have a short field, uh, but I think a very contentious field. I think this is a great betting race. Uh, we'll just take them from the, from the rail out. Uh, we start with Santana 6. It's been freshened by Nick Zito after folding in the long branch. Uh, he does have a good work pattern coming in here. Likes to race from up close. Johnny Velasquez gets back on, and uh, I believe the horse, of course, from the rail will show, will show speed. Uh, it, some people are going to think that he can't handle the uh, nine furlongs uh, based on that long branch result, but uh, earlier in the spend a buck at Monmouth, he did handle a mile and 70 yards, uh, st still was finishing well, was, was going well at the end, and I think will handle the stretch out, will get a good trip in here. Uh, the only caveat, uh, it, we'll, well, we'll get to the only caveat later when we talk about his uncoupled barn mate, and you know what I think about that. Uh, Guam Typhoon, a decent effort in his first uh, two-turn stake in the restricted curlin here earlier in the meet. Uh, he was stretching out then uh, from six furlongs to nine furlongs at one jump. It's not surprising he got a little tired, and he only got a little tired. He didn't fold up shop completely. Uh, this is his second time at the distance. That's going to help. Um, this horse could be a, a bit of a surprise on the board, and uh, that I, I think you get a good price on him. Uh, and I, I don't totally trust that he's uh, really at his best at nine furlongs, so I'm going to shy away from him. Uh, the, on, the only horse that uh, it to me is a throw out in here is Dumar. He has struggled in all his stakes races. I don't see any reason why facing a, a fairly stiff field for a listed stakes that he should uh, show any improvement. Sumo, uh, earlier in the year, uh, this horse looked like he might really be something. He beat Musket Man in the Sam Davis, uh, but uh, he, he's only run two dull efforts since then. Uh, he's coming back. Uh, this is his second start after a four-plus-month layoff. Uh, he does have two hot works at Delaware, two great bullets, uh, and he is by Fusaichi Pegasus, so you know he's bred for the distance. Uh, if he can get back to the, to the level that he showed uh, before that long layoff, uh, I think he's the best horse in here. Saratoga Sinner, well, aren't we all? Uh, he won the Holy Bull. Uh, another horse who looked really good uh, in, in the first uh, quarter of the year. Uh, he he uh, was injured, though, and, uh, you know, he, they, they, I don't know why they brought him back in the Jim Dandy. He went up against Kensei and then, you know, just got slammed along with the rest of the field. Not the best idea to bring off a young horse off a layoff and, and throw him to the wolves like that. But uh, these certainly aren't those. In here, uh, he's going to stalk. Eddie Keneally uh, has him ready now, I, I would think, from looking at the works. He's second off the shelf. Uh, the only question is, is he the same animal who won the Sam Davis? And that's the question you're going to have to answer. You'll, you'll probably, I would think, it's 6-1 to one to find out uh, if you want to find out. Uh, the outside horse is Nick Zito's other uh, uncoupled runner. That's uh, Hoopo. Uh, Hoopo just won his maiden, and in fact, he, he nearly blew a four-length lead in the, in the last furlong to, to win his maiden. So he's saying, what on earth is he doing in here? But uh, Zito is the past master at, uh, at three-year-olds who just explode, who just uh, develop suddenly. Uh, this uh, Hoopo is a birdstone. It's another Nick Zito birdstone. You cannot ignore this horse. Uh, his buyers are light. He's lacking in experience. Uh, he is the lesser of an uncoupled entry, so uh, you know I haven't been having, uh, I haven't been hitting with that angle much in this meet. But I'm certainly not going to give it up in the long run. It does pay off, and uh, Hoopo uh, is my pick in a contentious, pleasant colony.